Hi guys and welcome to Jules Guinea Pig House. Today we're here to talk about one of my favorite pigs that we have currently at the rescue. Uh, we do have three of them but this one was my first here so he is my favorite and I personally love him and anyone who meets him loves him and thinks he's the biggest sweetheart. He's so nice. We're here today to talk about one, Mr. King Louie, and two, talk about the importance of taking care of your skinny pig. So, oh, come here, King Louie, it's okay. Okay, so this is King Louie. He was our first ever skinny pig to the rescue. Um, he was in a small animal cage, or the typical store-bought pet guinea pig cage that pet stores carry, which is not recommended at all. Um, by anyone unless it's like a pregnant mom or babies uh, due to babies can slip through CNC cages that is the only reason why but uh, today we're talking about King Louie and the importance of taking care of your skinny pig so with taking care of your skinny pig there are some things that you have to do differently than any normal guinea pig uh, normal guinea pigs have hair of course Skinny pigs do not have hair except for on their noses and their feet. Uh, sometimes they get it behind their ears. Sometimes they get it um, down their just spine. They do have other kinds of skinny pigs, but the traditional skinny pig has no hair except for on their nose or their feet, which he has on his nose and his feet. Um, they are the color what a of where his skin is so where his paws are white his hair is white if his feet are black his feet hairs are black and same with his nose all his nose hairs are black except for a couple of white ones so it's pretty cute um but king lily is the first skinny pig like i said we got um it was very important that i knew the most about skinny pigs since we did have one in our care uh, with King Louie, he did, like I said, come from a lady that had him in a store-bought cage. He wasn't taken care of very well. He actually was impacted. He needed a bath. He was in filthy, gross bedding, and he had no hay ever in his life. Um, we had someone fostering him for the first couple days and then she actually gave him hay for the first time and he like freaked out because he never knew hay or knew of hay which is very sad because every pig should get hay it's 80% of their diet needs to be hay so he of course never had that and he is now three years old so we're trying to fix that of course in his diet he loves hay, he loves when I give him hay, he does the whole open mouth like, oh you're here, you're gonna give me hay, you're gonna give me pellets, you're gonna give me water as I do daily. Um, he is very, very vocal, they usually aren't as vocal at first, um, so he did warm up to us after a while, which is really good, because um, we do want to make sure he is himself, because what else would I, what else would I want him to be <laughs> um with him he he had a hard life growing up but now he's better he now has a partner he's in a CNC cage his partner is an Abyssinian um, another male so he's not with any females um, because that of course is very it's not the best idea because of breeding and unless you are a breeder and you know what you're doing, you do not want to be putting a male and female together, um, especially when the female is pregnant and she has the babies and she has the pregnancy, you do not want the male around. So there's a lot of things that goes on in that. And of course, I am going to be making a pregnancy video. I currently have a couple pregnant moms in here, but um, I'm trying to let them be for now until we make the video um, because one's having issues. But otherwise, uh, we're talking about skinny pigs. Sorry for getting sidetracked. Um, with skinny pigs, uh, now we're going to talk about the care of skinny pigs because that's the main thing is learning more about King Louie and his past because he is a rescue and then learning more about skinny pigs in this video. So with skinny pig care, uh, the main thing is that they do not have hair. So with them not having hair, you have to do things like he needs not extra baths but more of like cleaning up him 
cleaning up his paws, cleaning up his body, um, and making sure he has coconut oil rubs or baby oil rubs or even like uh, baby lotion rubs because their skin gets really dry. Um, another thing is, oh, you were so vocal. I'll put him back down. Um, another thing is, because they do not have hair is that they have a higher metabolism because of not having hair they have to keep their body warm so they do eat a lot more so they are ones that you do have to give a lot more food to a lot of hay he gets extra hay compared to all the other pigs um, to make sure he does fulfill his high metabolism he um, with skinny pigs you have to make sure that if you bring him outside that you get sunscreen because they do not have hair to protect their skin you do have to give them sunscreen the sunscreen has to sunscreen has to be 50 uh, the sunscreen has to be 50 SPF and it has to be non scented you have to make sure you do not get it in his face um, otherwise he can have infections from that another thing is him being a skinny pig is that he does not have a way to protect himself from being impacted. All male guinea pigs can get impacted, but skinny pigs are more than likely to get impacted. Um, when I first got him, he was very impacted and I did have to clear him out. You clear him out with either, their, with either coconut oil or mineral oil, and it's very easy um, just using cotton swabs and trying to get it loosened up and end up getting it all out. And then they do have runny poop for the first couple days, but then they end up being a lot better. So you want to make sure you do that. Um, they, of course, need regular care like nail clipping. Um, and they need their bed changed once a week, of course. Um, if you do fleece with them, you actually want to do it twice a week compared to a normal guinea pig because they do make a bigger mess. Um, otherwise, only other thing that is important with guinea or skinny pigs, sorry, is that you have to make sure they have enough food. Um, that's the biggest thing with skinny pigs, honestly, is they have enough food. Also, to make sure they don't have anything in their enclosure, like. Being in pine shavings is probably not the best. That's currently what I use in most cages. Um, but for skinny pigs, you don't want to do that because they're more than likely going to get scratched, going to get impacted, going to have issues um, from possibly a big piece of shavings. Uh, skinny pigs are born. How they are born is they will be born with no hair unless the hair in the spots that he, they will have hair for the rest of their lives. So some people think, oh, it only has little hair on its nose, it will grow in. Um, actually, it will only be where it first is when they first are born, which is a fun fact to know. I did not know that personally until a couple weeks ago. Uh, so I'm not looking into breeding skinny pigs, but if I was, that is a good thing to know is that the way they are once they, bo once they are born, means that's the way they're going to stay which is cool because sometimes like if you have a Peruvian or a Silky they or even a textile they will end up having their hair grow for a very long time and they will be of course short hair when they're born but then their hair grows and grows and grows like crazy so a fun thing about skinny pigs is they will be born with the same hair that they started with uh, same spot that they started with and it won't get any longer. Guinea pigs are very easy to take care of. They don't require that much extra to do. They're very sweet, very kind. They're less aggressive usually. I'm not saying all guinea pigs are aggressive, but when you try to bond them with another guinea pig, they're usually less aggressive. They're usually very submissive. He himself is very submissive. But this is King Louie. He is my baby. I love him. He's going to be in the rescue. He's going to be a permanent residence because he is three. Uh, he does have roughly about another three years ahead of him because skinny pigs usually only last four or three years, or not three years, six years, sorry. So he has three more years, technically, unless he was to outlive the typical skinny pig age in captivity. They don't do as well because you have to make sure he is hot and or he is cold at certain times. 
of the year so some people do not know how to regulate their heat or help them cool down so then they do not know that issue and it can actually shorten their life just like any other animal if you do not properly have the proper enclosure for them then it does ruin their life um, otherwise this is King Louie King Louie is awesome we love him here he is a big sweetheart he is going to be one that we do show off when we start going to schools talking about the importance of small animals, talking about the importance of other animals that we have in the rescue, um, talking about the proper care of these animals. He is gonna be one because he is very sociable. Uh, King Louie is always on Facebook. He is a Facebook hog. I Instagram him like crazy on our Instagram. Please follow us on facebook.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. Otherwise, uh, Instagram.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. Both of those I do post daily with whether it's a video or a picture or multiple pictures. Sometimes I even create albums every other day it seems like because I can't get enough pictures of these pigs. They are so cute. After you have 56 of them, <laughs> you can't not have enough pictures. That's all my phone is full of and our cameras are full of is skinny pigs and regular pigs and pigs, pigs, pigs. We love pigs. Uh, we also do accept donations at Jules or patreon.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. We always need the help with anything. We do go through hay like crazy, of course. We go through pellets like crazy. We have found ways to make it cheaper, but it still is something that we always need help with. If you are willing to help, anything counts, whether it's a dollar, two dollars, anything will help us in the long run. Otherwise, me and King Louis say, have a good one guys, and thank you for watching us again.